Hey, welcome to Twisted Pines. Hey, we got a little project we're working on today. We got a downed oak tree with this big old root ball oh, yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your sister in law, baby. <laughs> That's my sister in law, Timberly. So they're over there talking, and uh, I'm working as usual. So I got this big old root ball. I want to cut it off the, this big oak that's down and push it around and get the dirt off of it and eventually burn it, but it's it's too big for a tractor to pick up. So what I want to do is drag it over. I got a, another piece of oak cut off that I'm going to try to roll it over onto so that this root ball will be up in the air and I can use that chainsaw and uh, cut it off and then roll it away. And then I can start cutting this oak up into nice sections to utilize it for other things either. Uh, wood lathe, uh, gonna maybe on a sawmill and things like that. So, watch, see how it goes. We'll see. Make sure maybe it'll work. Maybe, maybe it won't. We'll find out. I'm going to take it around here so you can see what I'm talking about. Right here now, you can see there, I got a piece of oak cut off. And the plan is, sorry, the picture got all messed up. The plan is to roll this around now to where it'll roll over and land right on this piece of oak that's cut right here and to give you an idea of the size of that I mean that's that's my foot so it's bigger than my foot but that's a big old piece of oak so we'll see I'm gonna roll it again see if I can get it on top of it and that'll give me some leverage where I can cut that root ball off and not bind up the chainsaw maybe or at least that's the hope so let's see Yeah, we got some clearing, still working on it. This is actually the right of way. This is not the where the homestead is going to be. So let's see if I can get a good where you can see. You know, maybe it'll be better. Lighty. Yeah, maybe that'll look. You get better lighting that way. So, let's see if we can get it to do it.
got it on it, but still, still think maybe there's going to be a little bit of trouble there binding. So I'm still have to cut a little bit on it to get it to uh, keep the salt from binding. So but that's fine. Once it's cut off, then I'll be able to make a nice clean cut here. What I'll do now is take the tractor around, grab the tractor with the with the grapple, grab it from that side, pull on it, and then shut the tractor down where the tractor's pulling on this side of it. So that as I'm cutting it, it'll try to open it up and keep my blade from being uh, bound up. And again, I'm sure there's better ways to do this, but this is what I got when I got a tractor and a big chainsaw. So I'm gonna move the tractor. Let's see. Now the tractor's pulling on it, and it ain't gonna go nowhere now. I can cut on it, and as it cuts, hopefully that'll pull away. I won't bind up the saw. So let's get let, let me get this beast. family they're all camera hogs <laughs> well, this is that new 661 the 36 inch bar on it I've already cut a few things with it as you can see and it's and it's a beast that thing don't slow down even with that 36 inch chain it just pulls and pulls and you got to be really yeah, really be paying attention. <clears throat> Baby, can you check, make sure the video is right, the pictures? I'm not like chopped my head off. <laughs> I didn't even look. Yep, full body. Now if you do this, you need to be careful. This log's heavy. 
if this thing rolls off onto you, it'll break your foot, break your leg, break your knee, anything. You, you have no idea how heavy this one log is in there. So make sure it's not going to roll over on you when you're cutting. And if it's going to roll, cut it from the other side, from the side that it's going to roll away from. So if it was going to roll this way, I would have been on this side cutting. And if it was going to roll that way, I'd be right here cutting. But I didn't have any idea where this is going to roll, but it's pretty level, so I'm pretty sure it wasn't going to go nowhere. But if it had started to roll one way, I would have got out the way, because if it falls on you, it's going to break something. Well, <clears throat> sorry I'm losing my voice a little bit too. So now I'll roll this thing away. You can get an idea. I'll move it around with the tractor, and then all i got to do is finish cutting up this thing. put your cover back on your blade even you know you're going to use it again because especially like me I got kids and grandkids they come running around and that blade will cut them even if the saw ain't running Now that we got the root ball out of the way, 
come up with a game plan to cut this thing up and I kind of want to cut it because it's got a little bend in it right here I kind of want to cut it right here where the bend is and have one good solid piece of oak here and then another solid piece of oak here get that end up in there and cut it off nice and clean so that's the plan let's see I don't think the tractor could lift this up enough to roll this down where I could cut it, but we'll give it a try. I don't think it can. I think it's too heavy. That's how heavy that's how heavy that piece of wood is. I probably can't even lift it from this end with the tractor. Good tractor did a good job so now what I'm gonna do is roll this down here where I cut it off I won't get my saw bound up so again be very careful you got a heavy heavy log right here in the air yeah should move that in there My, my 110 pound, five foot one woman just asked me if I needed help moving a 200 pound log. You know, I've been sitting here, I just realized I did something really stupid. I put my chainsaw right here next to the log. If this log had rolled off of here and rolled onto my chainsaw, I'd, my brand new chainsaw would be squished. So, pay attention what you're doing, don't do that kind of stuff. That's not smart at all. And, since I believe this log, if it's going to roll or do anything, it's going to go this way, I'm going to cut it from this side over here. So, you check the view, make sure it's still good. You're always wanting to help, but you're always not around when I need help. <laughs> your videos, I don't like to be around. Yep. How's that? <laughs>
That's Mrs. Twisted Pine. We'll call her that because of uh, Stony Ridge Farm uh, YouTube. I follow that guy. He's really great. If you if uh, if you don't follow him, go and uh, search him. I'll see if I can put a link to his his uh, vid one of his videos. But that guy's awesome, Josh Stony Ridge. Watch him. I watch him all the time. So, <clears throat> like I said, I'm gonna cut this off right here. And then uh, cut it in again down here, and maybe we can get some straight wood out of it. saw near the wood where it might fall on it <laughs> that was after I saw that I was like that is really stupid <laughs> why would you do that well, you haven't felt good it's all good yeah so let's put it somewhere safe this time and as y'all can see that saw never even slowed down which is good because this is one of the smaller trees <laughs> so Again, be careful when you're doing this. I'm gonna go on this side. Only because I think it's somewhat safer on this side. I don't know why. If it falls, I have no idea where it's gonna go. So, my camera woman, she's gonna giggle, you'll hear. She can't help it. If someone knows of a better way to do this, I'm all ears <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Stop it! No, don't move the camera, stop the log. <laughs> so you just said I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> that don't weigh enough. There, all right, there is some logic into your. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what you just said. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so 
yeah, if someone knows a better way to do this with just a tractor and a chainsaw, let me know. Uh, yeah, of course, I could get an excavator in here and pick this whole log up, cut it off easy. Um, but I don't own an excavator, and I don't want her to pay for another one out by the day again for a while. So I'm going to do as much as I can with what I got. I'm half tempted. This thing is, yeah, I think right there, you're going to make another beautiful piece right there. Come on, look at that. Yeah. We'll go down right there. See, this was a big old tree with a big root ball and uh, just with a little time and patience and a tractor and a chainsaw you can get it cut up hell with the ropes and pulleys you can do the same thing you don't even have to have a tractor but uh, we got one the grapple I said it a hundred times the grapple is one of the best uh, implements you can have on a tractor I don't think there's a better implement uh, other than a brush hog for cutting of course I mean you got to cut but Beautiful cut. We're almost done. Like butter. Like butter. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, now we'll move that piece, and then once this one's out of the way, I have two nice pieces. Then I'll drag this one out over. Where I can cut the end of it off. And then I'll have three beautiful pieces of oak. And I got one over there that's all boogered up. I'm going to try to fish it out and cut it up nice. And I got a whole another down oak there and another down oak there. And uh, those are oaks the excavator took down. So, are you giggling? She is. What are you doing? Is this something wrong? No, you're there. Huh? You're there. Okay. Alright, let's
gonna get this here so I can cut. Oh, that's pretty. Not as bad as I thought it was. It's got a lot of dirt on it. It was sitting in the dirt. You know, I think that one'll be fine like that. I ain't gonna cut it. Have to mess with it. This is another good piece right here too. Time you mill that down, put put some uh, cleaning on it. There's no telling what they'll make out of this piece of it. It had to come down though. That's a sad thing. You see, there's beautiful oaks and pine in here. And, uh, this tree was one of the beautiful ones that was in the way of the right of way for the power company. And uh, I was sad to see it to have to go. I mean, about where the camera's sitting is about where it was sitting. I'll show you. Kind of already shown this before, but if you look, that's the right of way. That's down right there where all that's grown up is because it's so muddy you can't cut it with a tractor and get down in there. But you see these three beautiful oaks right here? There was just oaks up and down this thing. Down in that gully down there, there's six or seven oaks bigger than these that I'm cutting up now and uh, this right away is about a oh maybe a, a little over a quarter of a mile it goes up to right there and that's where the power box and meter and everything's going to be and it's going to go underground and through the woods out to where the house is going to go so here I'm going to back this up and you can see where I'm putting all these Oaks. Now that they're cut up, until I can get them on a trailer and and uh, get them get them uh, over to where they can be milled and worked on. Let's put the saw somewhere safe. Thank you to my camera lady for moving the camera. I guess I was out of the picture. I wanted to get all your wood in there. But <laughs> what I wanted to for you to uh, see what I did here was, if you're going to be leaving some wood laying for a while, don't. You're going to be tempted to pile it on top of each other. 
and most part that's probably fine but um, it's not if it's real heavy and big pieces like this and it's hard and maybe it comes to rain and your kids are out here playing or somebody and just one of those rolls over on top of them <clears throat> you got a five-year-old six-year-old toddler or anybody you know any even a grown person and one of these rolls off on them it might kill them so just put it on the ground leave it on the ground laying there you ain't got to stack it up nice and neat just leave it on the ground right there that's the safest place for it that way if it rolls it won't roll much hopefully and maybe <clears throat> instead of killing somebody maybe it might just hurt them but you also want to keep your kids and grandkids and everybody away from all these things because when one of those things rolls over it can hurt them pretty bad. I mean, that's, these things will roll. They roll right over on top of you. You know, that thing probably weighs a thousand pounds or more, each one of them. So you don't want that to roll over on your kids. Well, I'm gonna get busy doing some more. That's just a little action from Twisted Pines. You guys can see what I got going on. I got two more, I'm gonna do the same thing, cut up, move around get them out of the way get this place cleaned up and then i'll be uh getting those root balls and rolling them around and putting them in a the burn pile and burning those up it's not much you can really do with that old root ball so don't try to do anything with it you'll just mess up chainsaw blades or mess up whatever you think you're going to do with it it's <clears throat> it's too too hard down in there maybe you might get some fat wood out of one of them i don't know I'm not, not big on that stuff, but maybe. Hey, y'all have a good one from Twisted Pines. Be safe out there. God bless.